Okay, so before we start, we're going to take a nice deep breath and check in with our posture. We are getting ready to lift our legs. Note that the further your hands are from you, the harder it will be, and the closer they are, the easier it will be. So just find a spot that feels good for you. We can change the difficulty here by increasing or decreasing our lever. In this case, that would be our arms. So the closer we hold our arms into our body, the easier it will be. And the further out we extend our arms, the harder it will be. If at any point this becomes too difficult, you can work on sliding your hands out instead of lifting them up. We want to make sure our toes stay pointing the ceiling, so we don't want to let that big toe drop on either side. Really externally rotate your hips as you do this exercise. We also want to really work on keeping our buns attached to the floor, so don't let the opposite side bun lift up as you reach forward. As you lift your legs up, really try to think about equally pulling from your abs as you are from your hip flexors. You don't want to make your hip flexors do the majority of the work here. You might notice it is quite a bit more difficult as you lifted your legs and moved them further apart. So feel free to use your hands for some light pushing if it's getting too difficult. None of your muscles should really feel relaxed during this exercise. We should be flexing our quads, our glutes, our core, our everything. Um, because we are trying to send the signal to our body that it is time to get to work at getting more flexible. If this video feels way too challenging for you, do not worry. There is an intermediate and beginner version of this exercise, which I will include in the description below and probably up here somewhere in this video for you to click on.
I don't know if this is going to make sense to anybody else but me, but when I lift my legs up, I try to think about compressing in a half from both ends rather than just standing up straight or sitting up straight and lifting my legs up. And this is the same thought process I have when I do straddle press handstands. Okay, that was a lot of work. Good job. I'm very proud of you for finishing this video. Thanks for stretching with me, and I hope that we can stretch again together soon.